You ready? Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Um, uh, unboxing my new toy. What is it? It's, um, it's, it's not a flamethrower. No. What? That's not what it is. No. Why would it be that? Why what? would I ever buy a flamethrower? Is that what you think it is? What, what's in no? there? What's do you in have there? No. Do you have any idea what's well, in there? Well, it's not a flamethrower. I don't know. Oh! You liar! No, no, I didn't, I did it, look, I didn't lie. Not a flamethrower. I didn't lie. It's not a flamethrower. Oh. It's totally not a flamethrower. I don't know what you're talking about. I just, I didn't buy a flamethrower, no. What, <laughs> oh, snap, hold on. <laughs> look at this! Woo! What? Wait, is that an actual $5 bill? Oh my gosh, that's an actual $5 bill. Okay, I don't care about the $5 bill. I care about my flamethrower. Oh, he Yep, I bought a flamethrower. Yep, I did. I I bought a flamethrower. <laughs> oh, this thing is so sick. Ah, uh, don't put that in uh, your face. It, it doesn't have any propane on it. It's fine. Yeah, I I bought a flamethrower, and there's not really much else to say. Let's put propane in it and let's use this thing. The lawyers have spoken, and due to shipping restrictions, we can't mail your glorious propane fuel. Oh, I don't have any propane. Come on. To make it up to you, we've included some cold hard cash. Wait, so they? Wait, hold on. They so, actually? Uh, oh, oh uh, no, that's not coming off. They actually gave you a five dollar bill because they legally can't send you a propane tank included. I'm so done. So, I'm so uh, done. They so there's a $5 okay, bill. so uh, I'm gonna take this. Uh, here, there yeah. we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this five dollar bill, and we're gonna go buy some propane because <laughs> we need propane to fire the flamethrower. The five dollars didn't really cut it. I uh, got a lot more propane. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, so we got the tank on. There it is. This thing looks sick. All right, let's try it. Hold on, gotta get my proper safety gear on. Let's do this. All right, so there's three main things. There's this, which activates the propane, allowing it to push through, and then you have the igniter, then you have the trigger to make bigger flames. I've never done this before. I've never used a flamethrower in my life. I'm honestly kind of nervous. Are you nervous for me? Yes. Come closer. I don't know if I wanna come. No, <laughs> get away from me. Okay, so we're going to... Close the valve! Close the valve! What are you doing? It's literally it that you just wasted all of your CO2. Propane. Whatever. Yeah, what? All your propane just went straight out the front. I'm very confused. You didn't even pull the trigger. What happened? I, it's supposed to light first. Round two. Oh, it smells like straight propane. <laughs> it smells horrible. Okay. I don't know if you should open it all the way. Only open it like halfway. What is, what is this? I think maybe you should read the instructions. So, I, it's so easy to use. You just turn this on, you ignite it. It's just like using a grill. It's the same thing. <laughs> I think maybe you should read the instructions. Okay, I guess I'll read the instructions. Yeah, I think you should read the instructions. No, no, no. Okay, let's read the instructions. All right, I think I got it. There's a little knob right here and it was closed. It's so hot. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. That was really cool. I'm kind of shaking. You want to try it? No. No? Not even okay, a little I'm bit. I'm going to do it this way because the wind was blowing towards me and like literally that was so... Okay, let me... Don't do it to the trees. Uh, what are you doing? It's broken again. I just want to say you're being very loud and we might get the cops called on us by our neighbors because you're literally shooting a flamethrower in our backyard. Just a, just a thumbs up for that. I'll ask the cops if they want to shoot it. Okay. <laughs> I gotta try this thing at night. It's really hard to see during the day, but that's so cool. Okay, all right, let's blow up a wobble bubble. Got my good old trusty wobble bubble. My idea is to fill this wobble bubble up with water and then use the flamethrower to pop it? I don't know, let's do it. Here goes nothing. Who? 
Oh, oh snap. Oh snap. It's filling up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this sit for maybe five, 10 minutes and uh, see what happens. Also, I'm terribly sorry for how dirty the pool looks. Our filter's broken. I'm sorry. Oh. It's about to rain. Kayla went inside to do some work and edit some videos, so unfortunately, it's just uh, me, the camera, that wobble bubble, and that flamethrower. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section below what I should do with this flamethrower next. Oh my gosh, look at that spider. Oh, it's alive. Oh, it's alive. Oh my gosh, kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. <laughs> this thing is getting pretty big. I'm not gonna let it get too big because this is a normal wobble bubble. It's not the super wobble bubble, so I don't know how big this thing can get, but we're not gonna risk popping it because this is my only only one, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is like, just like a big old magnifying glass, basically. Wow. This thing is getting huge. This is my foot. All right, I think that's good. Okay, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you flamethrower versus a wobble bubble full of water. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I don't know what would, but hopefully nothing goes wrong. That was pretty sick. My tripod is now covered in water. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me come look at the camera. There's just water all over the place. And the whole backyard is soaked. Flamethrower, you did a good job. Wubble bubble, you're dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you target practice. With a flamethrower? Obviously, my goal is to hit the bullseye, but I think I'm just gonna hit the whole target. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, it looks like I missed the bullseye. That's where I hit it right there. All those little yellow marks. I completely missed the bullseye. I think I need to uh, reload and uh, try again. Round number two. We're, we're still going. We're still going for the bullseye. Ah! Well, I think I got it. Oh well, let's try again. I think we're out of propane. Oh, this is what a low propane tank looks like. Let's go get another one. All right, round number three. Oh yeah, that's fully loaded right there. There we go. Oh, it's a full propane tank. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Can we try that one more time? Oh my god, oh, it's on fire. Oh, it's on fire. Oh no, oh no, it's actually on fire. It's actually on fire. This is why I got my trusty bucket of water. Oh, it's still on fire. It's still on, oh no. We're good, I think we're good. Nathan the firefighter, at your service. Well, I think it's safe to say, I think I still missed the bullseye. Oh my gosh. Time to feel the heat. <laughs> All right, so it's a little bit on fire. Oh snap, I need to move the gun first. Oh no, 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 no. It's really on fire. Oh no, it's in the pool, it's in the pool. It's in the pool. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, it get, uh, well, I panicked. Now that we've lit two targets on fire, we're gonna wait for the sun to go down and then we're gonna roast some marshmallows. For dessert, that is. Hey, um, you didn't want to use a shower curtain rod, did you? I didn't I didn't think so. That's why I've attached a target I to it instead of on fire. I literally just bought this. You just, Oh, oh, this is the oh, this is the new this. one. This is the new one. Oh, yeah, it's gonna go in the trash now. I'm gonna throw it away. So bye. Like you, I, I'll buy you another one. I promise. Oh, I stepped on your avocado. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, are you are you ripening an avoca I, avocado? I'm ripening my avocado. Can I help ripe it with this my flamethrower? No, you already ruined our brand new shower curtain, and then you're gonna run over my avocado. Unbelievable. Best boyfriend award goes to who? 
Not you. Okay, all right, bye. Hershey's chocolate that's slightly melted because I didn't put it in the fridge. And honey made graham crackers. You know these are the originals because it literally has a picture of s'mores on the back of it. So we're gonna be making s'mores with a flamethrower. First, I just wanna like use this thing in the dark because like, I don't know, I just think it would look cool. So let's just test it out. <laughs> It's, uh, it's pretty cool at night. It's still on fire. Why is it still on fire? Excuse me, sir. It just takes a sec. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna set that down right there. We're gonna get ourselves a marshmallow. We got my good old trusty stick that I found in the yard. We got my good old trusty marshmallow. Yay. I'm thinking, I I'm not gonna hold this. Not the best idea. So I think we're gonna stick it in the ground. Or I could just take it and I could just- You want to? I I'm down. Okay, here you go. I'm scared. <laughs> Ow, you had to pick the stick with thorns on it? What did you pick but this from, a rose bush? Maybe, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, know. are you ready? Okay. <laughs> it's a little part. It's a little crispy. We oh, just it smells so it. good. <laughs> Guys, right, the sad on. part is, is that I can't even eat any of it because I'm on a juicing diet and it doesn't end until tomorrow morning. So I just get to smell s'mores and not eat any. So okay, so we got our, uh, our marshmallow. Oh, your burnt little. We just completely pussy. roasted. We need to get our graham cracker. This is how you make s'mores in the wild. I can smell the burnt marshmallow from here. <sighs> Nice and crispy. Okay, we need our chocolate real quick. All right, so we got a nice little slice of chocolate here. We're gonna put that right there, and we're going to, ooh, oh, buddy, that's perfect, honestly. I don't know how you guys like your s'mores, but a little crispy is just right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a s'more. Oh, I haven't had one of these in a really long time, so I'm having a, having a moment here. Well, I can say that the flamethrower can easily make s'mores, and it's really good. I haven't had s'mores since I was like camping in the woods. It's been a while, but oh, they're so good. Mm, that's a quality s'more right there. Guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I also wanna say, if you guys ever play with fire or flames, please be safe, please have an adult near you. And if you ever play with a flamethrower, same rules apply, please have an adult with you, <laughs> cause it's dangerous. Stuff could go terribly wrong really fast. But uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is just dripping all over. Oh, it's falling, I'm just gonna hold it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. And um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go put this inside.